Hello everyone and welcome back. We are going to continue our study of DOM modification. This time we are going to learn how to modify attributes. If you remember attributes in the HTML, let's look at our LI right here. I'll give you an example. You see an attribute is this href. Inside of that a tag you have an href. That's an attribute. You might have source, you might have target, you might have data, you might have... There's all kinds of different attributes, but basically it's the, it's the key value pairs inside of your HTML, if you remember from the HTML lesson. You can modify those with JavaScript. Right now, if I click on this League of Legends, it will take me over to the League of Legends webpage. On the second one, RimWorld, it does not actually take me to the Steam page for RimWorld, it just takes me to Google. Maybe we could modify that. So inside of our console, let's first look how we can get the attributes. And remember, attributes are just key value pairs. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this first item. And we're not going to select the LI. We're going to select the anchor tag within it. Because if you remember over here in the inspector, we have the LI wherever it is. Uh, ordered list, LI. Inside of that LI is an A tag. Because the A tag is the thing that has the attribute on it. So if we just select the LI, we're not going to have any attributes. So document.querySelector. Oops, could help if I could spell document. We're just going to get the first A tag. And you'll see here that it is indeed that first tag. So if we do dot get attribute, then that is a method. You give it whatever attribute you're looking for. I'm looking for the href, and it will tell me what the href is right there. I can also, instead of get attribute, you can set the attribute, and this takes two arguments. The first one is the key, the second one is the value. If I wanted to, I could update that to Google. And now if I click on this, it goes to Google. And if I hover over it, you can see that is indeed where it goes. So you can update those like that. Now let's say that we wanted to change this RimWorld link to the correct one. So let's find the correct one. It's going to be a Steam link, I think. I don't think they have it. Yeah. Nope. RimWorldGame.com. Cool. Let's go to this one. So we're going to link here. By the way, if you are if you haven't played RimWorld, it is so freaking good. Go play it. It's amazing. So let's find that. Document. Now notice this is the second one on there. So we're going to have to drill down a little bit. Dot query selector all. And we're going to have to get all of the A tags. And then, have, then we're going to have to get the second A tag on there, because the first one is this League of Legends, the second one is Rome World. Then we're going to set the attribute. The first argument is href, because that's what we're wanting to set. The second argument is what we want to set it to. So now it's been set. Let's click on that. And it takes us to the Rim World game. So that is pretty nifty. Notice that now that I've come back and refreshed the page, none of those changes persist. RimWorld now takes me to Google. So all of your JavaScript stuff will be reset whenever the page is reloaded. That's something to keep in mind, unless you add a backend, or if you, you can use like local storage or things like that. We're not going to get into local storage here, but you have that option if you want to look into that and have some continuity in your websites. You can also use cookies or a variety of other things to set data persistence, but again, that's kind of outside the scope of this course. Another option we might want to do is change these images. So let's find, instead of, let's say instead of um, League of Legends here, I wanted Rocket League. Let's find an image of Rocket League. Now this first one, whatever. Let's get the location and make sure it does indeed open correctly. Yep, right there. So now we are going to modify the source attribute of this image to be the other one. So document dot query selector. We're just going to get the first image tag, which is that right there. Dot set attribute, and the attribute is source src. And then we're just going to paste our link. And now that has been updated to the new image. Super easy, super simple. Just set attribute, the key, and the value. In this video, we talked about how you can get specific attributes of elements, and we also talked about how you can set those same attributes. Note that this works for all of the attributes. Even though we just looked at href and source, it works for all of them. Any, any attribute you want, you can do. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I'll be happy to help. Thanks. Thanks.